Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking an in-depth look at a plant known as stinging nettle. Stinging nettle can be easily identified by the shape of its leaves. Stinging nettle can also be identified by the flowers that grow along the stalk. But one of the easiest ways to identify stinging nettle is by the stinging hairs that line the stalk of the stinging nettle plant and the underside of the leaves. You'll notice I'm wearing gloves when handling this nettle plant to avoid the stinging hairs. The stinging hairs of the nettle plant contain four chemicals which are responsible for the sting or burning sensation that you feel when touching the nettle plant. Stinging nettle is one of the most nutritious plants that you can forage. Stinging nettle is rich in vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. The best way to prepare the nettle plant for consumption is either by cooking or drying the plant. Cooking or drying the plant removes all of the stinging properties. What I like to do is dehydrate the plant for later use. I can use the dried material later for teas or to put in soups or other dishes. Nettle plants have been used for centuries for medicinal purposes. Stinging nettle is not just a great source of nutrition and medicinal properties. Stinging nettle is also a wonderful addition to your home garden. Stinging nettle can be used to make a compost tea, as stinging nettle is rich in nitrogen and other properties. Also, stinging nettle is very beneficial in your home compost pile, as stinging nettle is a compost accelerator. You can also use the dried nettle as a supplement in your chicken feed. In the winter time, when there's not much green material available to your chickens, you can add the dried nettle plant for extra nutrition. Nettle plants are a great addition to the home garden and are easy to cultivate. If you find a stand of nettle, you can either dig them up and bring them home and replant them. Or if you don't have any nettle plants that are available nearby, you can purchase the seeds online and start your own nettle patch. I hope you've enjoyed the information in today's video and found it beneficial and inspired you to find a nettle patch of your own to harvest from or to cultivate it in your home garden.